All right, I'm going to quick show just a little bit about UGS. Uh, right here is my shortcut to the bat file uh, under the UGS uh, folder. This goes to the uh, Start Windows bat file. So I double click on that. Flash screen comes up. Here I am here. <clears throat> I have my, uh, my VOD rate, COM port, all that uh, entered in there. Um, I have a nightly build version. Is that 2.0 from February 2016? February 25th. Um, when you hit open, you're going to want to not press anything. This is, uh, I have homing and soft, uh, soft limits active. You're not going to want to hit anything until this goes to the active state. From there, you'll see you got a couple of tabs up here. File, this is where you load your files. It's a browse button, open it up. Send is the same thing as the final carve uh, button in, in uh, easel. Machine macro, uh, ma or machine control, and then macros. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, uh, if you have everything active like soft limits and homing, is the dollar H sign is homing. So you're going to do that. And it's going to start the homing cycle. Okay, then all is well. Uh, from there, you have your individual reset Y, or X, Y, and Z. Um, I don't mess with these at all. The return to zero and soft restart. Uh, dollar sign X, these are all the same thing as just entering it in the command individually. Here's the command uh, line. You can send individual commands. Okay. I have my readout in inches, so everything is in inches. Um, I have a bump stop, so my G28 macro uh, will, right now, if you notice that the uh, work position is now 0, 0, and machine position is 0 0.56, 0 0.59. Um, anyways. Uh, macros are handy. I got a lot of them. You, if you add another one, it just keeps on adding more and more and more. Uh, this one here is all my settings. This is a very long file right or one right there. It's got all my dribble settings in there. So if I have to go and do the machine setup in easel for any reason, if I want to use easel and something messes up, um, I come back here because of all my custom settings. My uh, limit switches are normally closed instead of normally open. Uh, can't do that in easel walkthrough. Uh, I keep on asking them to uh, to make it so I can, so we can have custom inputs. But uh, you know, they can't they can't please everybody. So anyways, uh, machine control. Uh, I don't mess with the e enable keyboard um, movements. I just use the, the buttons. I like the way it's got set up. I've never accidentally hit Z up or Z down in UGS. I have an easel, but the way it's configured here it just never messed, messed me up. Uh, you just enter in your, your sizes there. And the uh, jogging, you know. So that's just a quick, uh, quick walkthrough. File mode again. Go here. Uh, open up your uh, your G code here. Okay. Open it up. Tells you your uh, how many rows are in the file, how many sent, 
remaining. Then estimate time is always uh, calculated off of how many lines are left and how long it has been and how many lines have uh, been sent. So it doesn't know that at the end of a file it's all of a sudden just 500 lines going back and forth compared to the beginning of the file where it was going up and down like mad. Uh, it doesn't know the difference. It just knows how many lines were sent versus how many lines remain versus the time that it's already taken to send that. At the end of it, I always park my uh, my machine for the night at G28, which is uh, really close to the, the corner. And then you just hit close. And then the red box. That's it. It's a quick walkthrough for Steve.